Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Martin here with your live 11 Alive news update. It is almost time to witness the total solar eclipse. We are just minutes away from the beginning of the eclipse, taking a live look at the TELUS Science Museum telescope, giving us an up close view. We have live team coverage, starting with our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, live at the museum in Cartersville. And Chris, a lot of people will be watching what will be a partial eclipse, at least for us, looking up here in Georgia. Yeah, we are not in that path of totality here, but we at least are going to have a partial eclipse here. That feed that you just saw from the TELUS Museum, we keep getting a few clouds every once in a while that come by and it blocks out that view of the sun occasionally. But that feed is coming from right here in the observatory where I am right now. And folks are coming up the steps and they're actually looking into the viewfinder there and through the lens of that telescope where they can actually see what's happening right now with the sun. Now, the eclipse has not started yet. It will be starting in just a little while here. In fact, let me show you what we're watching here with the timeline of the eclipse that's going to be taking place uh, during the afternoon hours. It'll begin at 145. It will be at maximum eclipse at 304, and then it'll end at 421 this afternoon. And when it does get to maximum eclipse, it is going to be covering about 80 to 85 percent of the sun. So we don't expect it to get dark here or anything that really, if you're just really having your normal day and didn't know the eclipse was happening, you may not even know it's happening. But if you do know it's happening, it is definitely something very fun to see. In fact, we've got folks that are still here looking through that viewfinder, trying to see what the sun looks like right now, just a big bright orange yellow circle there in the sky. But coming up at 145, we'll be able to see what the moon moving in front of it, almost like it's taking a bite out of the sun. And then of course, we'll get to that maximum around 304 here this afternoon. So it's going to be a fun time. We have folks that are coming up right now. Let me ask you, I'm going to ask you really quick. We're live on TV. What do you hope to see? You haven't looked yet, right? Well, I'm excited to see all of all of the different views. They're streaming it live and then maybe just looking up at it natural and I'm trying to see it through here, but I can't see anything yet. <laughs> we'll try it again. I'm sure you will. You just kind of have to have, have, have to angle that a little bit. So she's going to check it out there as well. Um, we also did, I think we showed that live feed as well. At times, the clouds are blocking it, so sometimes it's hard to see. And, and that's what we're seeing outside of the roof here, too. Just know that if you do have some clouds where you are, just be patient because those clouds will move and there will be glimpses of the partial eclipse as it takes place here uh, during these afternoon hours. So we're getting closer to that 145 time frame. Grace King joins us now live from Stone Mountain, where folks there are hoping to get a good glimpse of the partial eclipse, too. Grace, how's it looking? It is looking busy as more and more people take the sky ride, hike up to the very top of Stone Mountain, where we are waiting for that partial solar eclipse. Now you can see some of the crowds behind me. People brought chairs, cameras, hats, glasses, and those solar eclipse glasses are probably one of the most important parts. These, this is John Th Thomas, Mason, and Jacob. They all have their glasses here. And guys, what are you most looking forward to today? So I'm most excited to spend time with family and friends and have fun. I'm most excited about watching the eclipse will be my will be my second. I want to watch the solar eclipse and spend time with family. Absolutely. Now these boys saw the solar eclipse back in 2017 when it was a total solar eclipse, but they don't really remember it. So they're really excited to be here today on top of Stone Mountain. They have their eclipse glasses, so they're ready to look at the sun safely. We have more tips on 11live.com on how to look for those solar eclipse glasses. If you haven't gotten them yet, you still have a little bit of time. You want to go ahead and check those glasses. Make sure they're not counterfeit. They're in good condition. Make sure that they have that ISO label so that they're good for staring directly at the sun. If not, you can look at the ground. You might be able to see some of those little eclipse shapes on the ground, but that's all we have for now. Sending it back to you, Jonathan. All right, great vantage point and a great place to watch. Uh, Grace, thanks so much. And you can join us for local coverage this afternoon. We're checking back with those viewing parties at Stone Mountain where Grace was and tell us Science Museum in Cartersville. Live coverage continues today starting on 11 Alive News at 4. And we, of course, are going to have another update for you coming up in just about 20 minutes. We're going to be checking back again with our Chris Holcomb and Grace King. And we'll also have national coverage along with our local coverage. So if you're not in the path of totality, you'll have coverage here. Uh, but we'll also, have, of course, have the national coverage from places like Texas as well.